Sure. People know what I stand for. Herschel Walker is still standing. My bike is not bent, so anyone can ride my bike. Like he's seen to have Chuck Schumer and uh, Joe Biden riding his bike because he's seen to be voting for whatever they say. What? I, I don't. I don't know what that was. But that was uh, Herschel Walker talking about bike riding. Uh, but he's also very salty that reporters keep doing this annoying thing where they ask him where he stands on policies. And so uh, he's begun to just refuse answering questions about his policy positions. For instance, when asked to uh, clarify his stance on exceptions to abortion bans in a recent interview, he lashed out at the reporters, okay? This is what he said, have you asked my opponent? Don't play games, you're playing games. No, but you're, you're running for elected office. You should know where you stand on these issues. That like, that's not a gotcha question. He doesn't know that, right? <laughs> just no, he doesn't know anything. That's yes. amazing. Yeah, like, hey, what, what's your position on uh, taxes? Oh yeah, now you're gonna ask gotcha questions? Like, no, these are like the most elementary questions of all time. But there's actually one thing he's not completely wrong about. Uh, his bike is not bent. No, I have no idea what that means. Yeah, what was <laughs> that, that bike of, thing? Is that like some sort of? I don't know if that's like some lingo, like internet lingo. Like, hey, is your bike bent? Okay, I, I don't know what that means, okay? So. I mean, he should get bent, but I, I don't <laughs> know about That's a different bikes. thing, I don't know if it's <laughs> yeah. referring to that, I don't know. Anyways, um, but no, seriously, look, his stance that, hey, I'm not gonna answer uh, any stinking questions about policy. What am I gonna be, a senator? Uh, is of course absurd, right? But all of a sudden, reporters asking questions about policies. <laughs> I know. I mean, look, I, let's be honest. Yeah. Like, so Herschel Walker is one of the three dumbest men in America. Okay, fair. Doesn't even realize that he's going to do policy in the Senate and he should have policy positions, fair. But reporters, when do you ever ask about policy? Like when progressives beg you to ask about policy in primaries, you're like, oh, no, I'm not gonna ask about, you're gonna ask an establishment Democrat about policy. Oh, that is outrageous. These progressives are rascals, their bikes are bent, okay? And now all of a sudden yeah. you don't like Herschel Walker and you ask him about policies, ask them all. I mean, I don't know if the reporters like him or not. All I know is they ask him no, perfectly don't. fine. You don't think the reporters like him? Yeah, I'm saying the reporters don't like Herschel Walker, mm -hmm. and rightfully so. So they're like, hey, knucklehead, how about policy? But ask any we don't know senator that. Ask yeah. about policy, half of them don't know it. All right, so um, we just got an update. So apparently he was, when he was referring to a bent bike, he was talking about Joe Biden falling off his bike. So congratulations. Yeah, figured, but it's still not a thing, it's still not a thing, it's just not. Like, yeah, I saw he fell off. By the way, George Bush fell off his bicycle. George Bush nearly died choking on a pretzel. We can do this all day long, okay? Herschel yeah, Walker just, can't put together two sentences. I just You're don't think it's funny regardless of who we're talking about. Like, ooh, wow, you almost you almost hurt yourself by falling off your bike. You almost died from choking on a pretzel. Like, who cares? Like, it's just, it's so lowbrow and disgusting. But anyway, let's move on. Um, in a recent appearance, Walker emphasized giving aid to farmers and also cutting environmental regulations. He says, limit domestic energy sources. But he doesn't get into details because he doesn't like talking about the policies he's proposing. And his go to applause lines reflect standard conservative dogma. Quote, we need spiritual warriors, leaders who love this country, people with common sense, he told a standing room only crowd in Georgia. By the way, standing standing room only crowd ain't a joke. He's doing better than Raphael Warnock in the polling. Okay, that is, that doesn't speak well of Georgia. Georgia, what are you guys doing? No. And it's not, it's not that I disagree, it's not only because I disagree with Herschel Walker, it's that he can't even defend his own or explain his own policy proposals. He says a lot of stuff that doesn't make any sense at all. He's just not qualified to represent anything.
I just, it's it's really mind blowing where we're at. No, he was on Newsmax today. They gave him a softball about, hey, can you believe Democrats are attacking you on mental health? And he went on to agree that he has mental health problems. He just cannot do the bare minimum. He can't do the bare minimum. And Republicans love it. They're like, who cares? Policy. When's the last time a Republican cared about policy? I mean, look at that. Uh, those lines he gave that room. I mean, it's just the mad libs of random fake patriotic comments. That's why we gotta be free. And we're in favor and we're against all the guys in the greatest country, but we gotta make it great again because it sucks. Dude, yeah, freedom, right? And they're like, oh, yeah. what the hell does any of that mean, right? But uh, look, this is a pet peeve of mine because I ran for office once and uh, and the corporate media attacked me. And I said, hey, are you ever gonna ask? This was a literal conversation with a, I had with a reporter from the LA Times. I said, are you ever going to discuss policy in this race? And he said to me, no, we will likely never do a story on that. Okay, and he was right, they never did. Uh, they never clarified my positions, the Democrat, my corporate Democratic uh, um, opponent, but also we had Republicans because it's a mixed primary in California. They never clarified their positions. They never clarified the positions of the two different Republicans in the race. The media doesn't care about policy either. I went to an editorial board meeting, we came out, the editorial board wrote down, we, you can look it up yourself. I've showed you that quote before. They said, while we agree with Jenk on the policies, uh, we, we want civility in Congress and he's too pugnacious. Like, oh, he fights for policies, we don't like that. We're the dumbass media and we don't, He's right on all the policies. We vote. That's why we're against them. So now all of a sudden with Herschel Walker, the media cares about policy. Yeah, maybe. He's beating Warnock now. So Warnock had a little lead. Now Herschel Walker has a little lead. We don't know who's gonna win. Okay. But um to be fair, that is that's not, you know, I love blaming the media, okay, because they deserve it. But that's not on them right now. And it's not on the voters right now. It's on Warnock. You're supposed to make your case. You're running against someone who might or might not have three IQ points. If you can't beat him, well, then what do you want me to tell you? You should be obliterating him now. You should be vicious towards him now. But he prefers civility. So, all right. Well, if you don't want to run a tough campaign, go ahead and take your loss to one of the dumbest people in the country. Yeah, I mean, like, how's that civility working out for you? Yeah. Not so great. Hey, like, Warnock, look, it's not that complicated. I know we're all supposed to kiss Warnock's ass, right? He's a reverend, he's a corporate Democrat, he's progressive adjacent on like two issues that might affect him. Um, but look at Fetterman. It's not that hard, it's happening right now. Fetterman is beating Oz by 10 points. Why? Because he's bothering to fight him. But Warnock, I haven't heard him say a goddamn thing about Herschel Walker. Do you want to do you want the seat? Do you want to fight? Or do you are you is your team filled with Democratic consultants telling you not to do anything? If you lose, it's totally on you. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.